where you want it. Bay 12, please. Hello there, Halo fans, and it has been a while since we've done some Halo content, but the guys at Jazzwares assured me that the next figures of Spartan Collection and even the world of Halo will be coming soon. There were some weird delays with the current wave and some of the other waves that should have been out more widely than they got this first that will be seeing a heavier presence on store shelves soon, as I've been told, and I can't wait for that. But today, from the world of Halo, the four inch scale line, we have the SDCC exclusive Neon Superfly Edition Warthog with a Spartan. And I love this piece. I love everything about this piece. This is one of the cooler coatings for both vehicles and Spartans alike in Halo Infinite, despite the absolute dumpster fire that game has been in terms of multiplayer since its launch. And everything about this piece from packaging to figure to vehicle is really cool. First off, we have this really awesome reflective box. And then of course you've got the neon super fly there graffitied on the side, which I really like. On this side, you've got Halo, the UNSC logo. On this side, you've got Halo. On that side, you've got the Warthog. On the top, it just looks like a crate. On the bottom, it's pretty plain, but there is a cool switch on the side. And when you open it up, there is a black light in there and it all glows. Even the Spartan has glow bits, which is really, really cool. Those neon colors just pop so, so well in this packaging and I absolutely love it. I don't even wanna take this out of the box and I am a Lucy guy. I love opening and playing with figures and I don't even wanna take this out of the box because the display is just so, so cool. But we're gonna take it out of the box anyway because I'm a Lucy guy and I like to play with stuff, so that's what we're doing. And here it is out of the packaging and yeah, this this looks so awesome in person. I mean, it's, it's a cool skin to have in game, but just seeing it, a physical warthog in this really cool neon color scheme, especially as the secondary color details on the Warthog, the various railings and such. It, it just makes for a very cool look. Like I said, this, this was definitely one of the better skins in my opinion, and it looks good on the figure as well. We'll take a closer look at that here in a moment, but first off, the Warthog does roll forward and back. The turret does rotate from side to side. It doesn't unfortunately rotate full 360 because this little bit and the wheel wells just kind of keep that articulation from going a full 360. Now you can pull it out and face it the other way because in canon it is supposed to be able to rotate full 360 but for some reason unfortunately on this mold it just doesn't. You can of course set your Spartan up in the driver's seat of this awesome Warthog and have them hold on to the steering wheel. You can have them hold on to that gear shifter right there, which is really cool. And real quick for comparison, here is the new Warthog next to the Halo 3 version of the Warthog, just so you can kind of see the new model versus the old model side by side, and also see how the color schemes compare. Because of course the regular World of Halo, Halo Infinite Warthog that came out that this is a repaint of, is very similar in color scheme to the classic Halo Trilogy Warthog right here. So here's a good look at those two vehicles side by side right here. And here we have our exclusive Spartan to go with our Warthog here. I really hope they do one of these Spartans in the Spartan collection line as well. I think that would just be very, very cool. Even if it's not necessarily to the extent of the packaging level that we got for this SDCC exclusive. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying I don't want it as maybe next year's SDCC exclusive. I'm just saying it's a really cool look for Spartans. We already have Halo Infinite Spartans in the Spartan collection, so it'd be really neat to see a neon Spartan 
in the Spartan collection at some point in the near future as well. He does come with an exclusive version of the battle rifle as well with the same skin coating. And I'm really glad that they went with the BR with this one and that's mostly because the BR is my favorite UNSC rifle. And you can store this either on his back or he can wield it like so, which looks really cool. Also for comparison, here is our Neon Spartan next to the Master Chief. So you can see how they compare side by side. And they do look really cool right next to each other. Overall, this is a really awesome piece and arguably the coolest Warthog or even vehicle for that matter released in the world of Halo line so far by Jazzwares. And like I said, Jazzwares knows that it's it's been a little quiet and a little slow with the Halo line, especially in mass retail as of late, and they are quickly working on solving that issue. And not only having some new and fresh awesome Halo stock to shelves soon, but also you should start seeing some of the more recent wave of figures on shelves sometime in the near future. Stay tuned for more Halo reviews, stay tuned for more Jazzwares content, like and subscribe, follow us on social media, and for more news and reviews, make sure you check out our other website, cooltoyreview.com, and like and subscribe to our social media and YouTube channel there. And if you like Star Wars content, check out rebelscum.com. Every single day there's awesome daily Star Wars content there, as well as Order 66 Toys. Make sure you check out Order 66 Toys on Facebook. They go live every Friday night at 7 p.m. Central Time. However, there's also a storefront for both Order 66 and Bay 12 inside Order 66 Multiverse in the shops at Willowbend Mall in Plano, Texas. We'll see you guys later. We'll see you another time. It's game over, man. Game over, man. It's game over.